LC, welcome back to your eighth installment of LC TV. I'm Reagan Sedaris. And I'm Olivia Klein. On this week's episode, we'll be talking to some early graduates, visiting LC's very own Elf on the Shelf, and learning about how different cultures celebrate holidays in their own way. For our first current news story, President Biden confronts the Russian president over invasion on Ukraine. On Monday, December 9th, new travel guidelines were put in place for the United States. Before, passengers needed to get a negative COVID test three days before their flight, but now they need to get a negative COVID test one day before their flight. President Biden also stated that masks will need to be worn on planes until March 19th, where before it was going to end in mid-January. Now let's hear what one of our LC students have to say about it. Personally, I don't have a strong opinion on the travel guidelines that were just put in place, but I am going on vacation soon with some friends and I'd rather not wear a mask. But if it keeps everybody safe, I guess that's okay, but I really don't have a strong opinion on either. Next, we're going to talk about the new travel guidelines that were put into place. President Biden and Russian President Vladimir Putin discussed Russian troops lining Ukraine's border. President Biden warns Putin that the U.S. and its allies will oppose strong economic measures if Russia continues to build up its military presence around Ukraine. When the meeting was over, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan held a conference explaining that the meeting was useful and that President Biden delivered a clear message, do not invade Ukraine or else. The White House is prepared to send weapons and military supplies if Russia continues to line Ukraine's border. Have you ever thought about graduating early? Let's hear what some of our seniors are planning. I chose to graduate early because I would like to become a general surgeon at some point and med school and internships and residencies, they really take up a long time and by the time you finish with all of that, you know, you can be in your 30s. So I just wanted to give myself an extra year to make sure that I was getting in there as fast as I could. I definitely think that it's beneficial to graduate early because with all the extra steps, really all I had to do was take about three classes over the summer and I had to take the SAT early and I had to take the ASVAB, which is the military test, um, just to replace the I-STEP. But if you choose to graduate early now, you won't have to do that. I definitely think that it was beneficial. Any freshman or sophomore that are planning to graduate early, um, my advice would be just make sure you have everything in order. Like, don't wait and make sure that you know what your schedule is going to be. Have a solid plan. Be ready to apply to colleges study for the SAT, just be ready for whatever is coming and make sure that you are ready to move to college. If you don't know if you're ready, if you don't know if your maturity is not there or if you don't want to move from home, you know, just make sure that you're ready and prepare yourself. I wanted to graduate early because I have a lot of other things going on. I'm currently in like multiple different organizations and different clubs and I needed to kind of sort of get out of school so that I can devote all of my time to these organizations. I also am doing the college process, the college admission process that is, and I have to focus on new scholarships and focus on college tours and things of that nature. Well, like, I'm a creative person and I've been doing this stuff like singing, dancing, and acting like for a very long time, so it's like really a passion of mine. So that's what you need to define art for me. I plan on actually getting my master's degree and eventually my PhD, but uh, I plan on being a dancer or a choreographer or both actually. I also plan on being an actress. Uh, I do plan on owning multiple businesses and obtaining wealth, just regenerating wealth. Maybe I'll have to think about graduating early next year. Now let's talk to some students about how they celebrate the holidays in their own culture. Lake Central is home to a large amount of students, many of which come from different backgrounds and cultures. These cultures also affect their celebrations, for example, what they eat on Christmas and how or if they celebrate it. Hello, my name is Sal. I'm a junior and I celebrate Christmas. Uh, my family, we celebrate Christmas, but we do it a little differently. 
For Christmas dinner, we don't have ham because we can't eat pork related food because of our religion. So instead, we usually just have turkey and chicken. Hi, my name is Nadine Batista and I'm a junior. I'm Guatemalan and Puerto Rican and while we celebrate Christmas, our Christmas dinner is a little different. We eat tostones, tembleque, which is a coconut dessert, pasteles, which take a really long time to make. Um, we sometimes eat tamales, we eat flan. Um, we normally don't eat bistec and cebollado, but there are times when we do. We eat lechon, which is pork, and um, we eat turkey, we just like fill it with pork instead. Hi, my name is Maram, and I'm a 10th grader. I celebrate Eid, which is happens twice a year instead of Christmas. And so the first one we celebrated this year was in I think around May, at the end of May, um, which it happens after Ramadan, which we fast through like the entire month from sunrise to sundown. And then as like a celebration, we celebrate for three to four days. And then the second one we celebrated this year was in August, right before school started. One is usually surrounded by um, Hajj um, in Mecca. And so it's a little weird celebrating a different holiday than everyone else, but yeah. It's so cool to see how other cultures spend the holidays. Before we head into sports update, let's check out some boys in the varsity basketball team. Uh, I'm Jaden Clayton, I'm a senior. Yeah, I'm Ethan Off, and I'm a senior as well. As a freshman, my goal is to play uh, varsity basketball and to uh, win a state title. And then my goal as a freshman was also to play varsity basketball, but I really won a sectional championship, but regionals would be cool too. I remember was dunking on the kid. Uh, I'm definitely gonna miss that. Jaden going crazy in the background. Mm -hmm. Definitely gonna miss that. My favorite memory was uh, Gaming Monster. They were uh, talking a lot of crap, you know. Had to hit him with a three-pointer. Sent him home crying, so. Uh, for the upcoming freshman, the only advice I have for you is just have fun and uh, definitely watch out for Fry. Uh, advice I have is to work hard and just show up to conditioning. Uh, it's definitely sad being the only two uh, seniors left, uh, but the boy's been here since freshman year, so. Yeah, me and him have been playing together for a while, so it's kind of exciting to see this our senior year, so. I want the seniors to know good luck on your final season and hope you guys finish it out strong. I would like to say to the seniors good luck for their final season of high school basketball and finish it out winning sectionals. It's been fun though. Uh, Got to go out with the bang this upcoming season. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> now let's head over to Katie, Kelsey, and Cole for this week's sports update. What's up, LC? Welcome back to this week's sports update. I'm Katie O'Drobanek. And hey, hey, good talking. And I'm Kelsey Moore. And this sports update is Christmas edition. Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer had a very shiny nose. So Santa, our girls' basketball team is on the nice list, winning their last game against Andrean, 58 to 47. The girls also have a game at South Bend St. Joseph this Saturday. Good luck, girls. Our boys basketball team plays Andrean today at home. Be sure to show up. Both the boys and girls swim teams competed in the Munster Relays this past weekend. The boys placed second and the girls placed fourth. Both teams have a meet against Laporte next week. Best of luck to both teams. Our very own wrestling team hosted their 40th Harvest Classic this past Saturday and placed fourth overall as a team. Both Michael DeGrado and Johnny Cortez won their weight categories and Johnny was also named the most outstanding wrestler of the day. Great job, boys. Even though mental health is not a highly talked about topic in athletics, we'd like to take a minute to show how mental health is just as important as physical health. I run cross country and I'm on the swim team. I play basketball. I'm on the swim team. I'm on the wrestling team. I play football. I run cross country and track. I run cross country and track. Sometimes when I'm nervous before either a cross country or a swim meet, I'll listen to music to distract myself from being nervous because sometimes it get, like my nerves get all crazy and the music helps calm me. When I get stressed before a game, I take three deep breaths to calm myself. When I get stressed before a big meet, I usually just talk to my friends about it on the team. When I get stressed before a meet, I meditate and think to myself. Before a big game, when I get stressed, I listen to music. 
When I get stressed before I meet, I normally take a deep breath and talk to some of my friends and we have to calm each other down. Oh, before I meet, if I'm stressed out, I, I listen to music. If you ever need support, don't be afraid to reach out to a friend, a teacher, a school counselor, or anyone you're comfortable talking to. That's it for this week's Christmas edition sports update, LC. I'm Kelsey Moore. Hey, 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 go talk to And I'm Katie Odrobanak. Happy holidays. Thanks, Katie, Kelsey, and Cole. And now a word from our sponsors. Envy Lash Bar is located in Munster, Indiana, in the Fairmont Building in Suite 100D. They are open Monday through Friday and selected Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Services provided here are lash extensions, brow laminations, lash tints and lifts, as well as facials. For a holiday special, you can use the code LCTV to get $20 off. The staff is friendly and the environment is relaxing. You can book appointments on their website by call, text, or DM on Instagram. Make sure to check it out. Make sure to check out Envy next time you go to get your lashes done. On another note, let's see what Miss Barnett's special surprise for us is. Hello everyone, my name is Tina Barnett and I have a gift, a Christmas gift that's one of the best gifts you can ever get. It's so beautiful. I'm going to sit it here so that it can illuminate and do its work behind me. You know, I've asked several students, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being perfect, what would you rate yourself generally? The numbers I got was 5, 6, and 7, and I told them, that's high, but it's not high enough. I told them that they are a 9.5 solid, and so are you. Put on your bootstraps, because this is going to be a new perspective. All right, are you ready? Here are you, wonderfully made. Each one of us are the same because we came from two people. They came from two people, and each one of them came from two people, and so on. Past generations, every single one of us came from two people. We're all connected because say if it wasn't for my, my chain here, say if this little old man wasn't there on my mother's side, I wouldn't be born. That impacts you. You want to know how? Well, if I'm not born, what would you be doing right now besides listening to me? So you see, it gets deep. We're all connected and we're all the same. These people here on down have made some bad choices in their lifetime. Bad decisions, like the rest of us. Some of them should have went right when they went left. Some should have said no when they said yeah. Some of them, a few of them have gotten critically ill, but they had to make it because destiny tells me you are supposed to be here. Fascinating. So let me tell you this, the same people that I just spoke about, there's something more important as to why you're a 9.5. Many of these people, if not all, had confidence, had self-esteem, self-worth, pride, was proud of their heritage, had a good work ethic. And that's what helped them and passed it on. And a lot of them had nine fruits, nine fruits of the spirit. That's love, joy, faithfulness, goodness, gentleness, kindness, peace, patience, and self-control. Those are the seeds that are stirred up and, and passed through the generations and endured until you were created. That's why you're a 9.5. So with that being said, challenges, when you face challenges, what I call conflicts in life, storms, which you could be facing right now. And unfortunately, we all go through it, we've been through it, and we're gonna go through it often, even in the future. So what you do is you put on that armor, you soldier up, have confidence when you walk through that storm. You put on the helmet, the breastplate, the shield of faith, the sword, not this kind of sword, but the word, the belt of truth, and the footwear of peace, and you walk through that storm confident because their joy comes in the morning. There is sunshine at the end of that tunnel. We're all the same, we all go through it. And you know, by the way, while you're going through it, what can make you feel better when you're going through your storm, your conflicts, 
Think about other people. How could you be a blessing? How could you help other people? Well, you could start off by something important, and that's to love others as you love yourself. And something more important than that, love someone with all your heart, soul, mind, strength. I want you to run, not walk, to find out who that someone is. Your life is gonna change for the better, I promise you. Now, you see these people up here? Some of them exist right now, friends, family, in-laws, whatever, but some of them are not even born yet. But they will be someday because of you, because your chain doesn't stop with you, it continues on. So, that's why you're knowing 9.5s is because of them. They're 9.5s, they produce you. You are a 9.5s because you are going to make a difference. Share this with others and be blessed. Merry Christmas. That was really nice for Miss Barnett to do for us. One of my favorite things to do during the holidays is to look at Christmas lights. Let's go check out this week's regional gem. What's up, Elsie? I'm Greta Seeger. I'm Chloe Hardesty. And I'm Lily Rogers. This week we're getting in the holiday spirit by looking at Christmas lights. Let's check it out. The Magical Light Show, hosted by the Manfrey family, is located in Dyer, Indiana. It is open 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. seven days a week. They hand out free hot chocolate and collect donations for different organizations. They are also visited by Santa and his helpers. You can also send letters to the North Pole. Their show consists of a variety of different songs and themes for everyone to enjoy. This originated by helping the community and um, knowing that we kind of need a little bit more Christmas spirit, you know, in this day and age. And um, we also do Toys for Tots every year. Um, we do free hot chocolate. Um, we raise money for the Toys for Tots Foundation and we've added more and more lights every year. We actually have about 107,000 lights. Um, and we also do uh, free kids nights. We do glow stick nights. We do um, a first responder tribute. Um, we've really been grown to loving to give back to the community. It looks like so much fun. Hey Reagan, have you started wrapping your Christmas gifts yet? No, not yet, but let's see who's the fastest gift wrapper. What's up, LC? It's Jake Noldean, Vivian Denson, Luke Lalich, and we're going to wrap presents today. We have three minutes on the clock. Ready, set, wrap. Oh, shit, I got this all like played out. Oh no. She's dripping. Oh, shit. Oh, right here. Shoot. This is so Christmas. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. I was getting all like strategic and then I just decided to go full hands on, so I'm just ripping it now. Viv's cheating, she's pushing me out of the way. This is how, this is how my mom taught me how to do it right here, so. You know what? Dude, no, and I'm like, shoot. I don't know how to do the edges, bro. Stop. Oh, shoot. Y'all gotta stop sleeping on this method. No, watch, okay, yours actually kind of looks. It's gonna look good on top, mine is. Oh jeez, I don't need it anymore. No, I don't need it. Leave it, I'm good. I know what's gonna happen. Dude, good thing I'm not Santa's little helper. <laughs> Shoot, bro. Pretend it's wrapped. Okay, I think it's safe to say I won. First, my uh, piece of wrapping paper was too small, so I had to quickly make it bigger, and uh, I think that was my downfall, but. I think it looks good. I'd accept this as a gift. Ten. It was kind of hard competition, not really, but it could have been like handled with care a little bit more. But I think it's just like the neatest, maybe. I would give this to somebody though, because everybody wants a present. My strategy, first I was kind of just going traditional style. And then the scissors weren't cutting it good, so I just started ripping it and just wrapping it. And uh, it didn't really turn out how I expected. Once people look at the kind of grunge style of my wrapping style, it'll grow on them and they'll want it as a gift. And the winner is... Oh, man. <laughs> wow, they really got wrapped up in that one. 
Did you know that here at LC we have an elf on the shelf? Eli, take it away. Hi, my name is Eli, the Lake Central Elf. I love spreading holiday spirit. Today, I went around and surprised some of LC's favorite teachers with Christmas decorations while my elf friends distracted them. I played golf with Mr. Zalani. I said flying to Mrs. Bessage's room. <laughs> that is so cute! He came to visit. I surprised Miss Skyler with some tasty treats. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Wow! Playing a snow angel in Mrs. Davis's classroom. Awesome. I have an elf at my house named Glitter. Hi, Eli. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Merry Christmas. Awesome. <laughs> Feliz Navidad. And I even pay the visit to the Grinch of Elsie. Uh. I had so much fun. See you next year. Wow, he's such a naughty elf. Now let's see what gifts Santa dropped off to all of our teachers. Like, if he put on a scarf, this would be identical. Like, I know, the they thing. already do look so much Literally alike. Literally like the same thing. Oh my gosh, guys. We just got a letter from Santa. I mean, you came in here and interrupted me and Francesca, so you might as well just read it. Let me see what Santa said. You Wear my Santa suit. Good luck and Merry Christmas. Guys, I think I know what we have to do. Who's gonna wear it? I'm not wearing it. I'm not wearing it. Come on! <laughs> We've been low, you know, like supplies wise, you know, the boats have been stuck, so we really couldn't get you that much. You guys got me a puncher? I mean, um. So kind. Yeah. Straight. You touch It's clean. Not you. Brand new. Br brand new. Brand new. Bought out of the Dollar Tree. Nice. This is amazing. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a Merry Christmas. Okay, okay. Also, we have a question. All day long. <laughs> Wait, it looks so Um, I have a Christmas present for you. For me? Yeah, uh, shipping's been kind of sucky this year, so you have to do some budget cuts. Mustard? Yeah, it's spicy. Let me eat French mustard, guys. Oh. I'll take that up with Santa. Okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. If you tell Santa I want the French mustard next I got you. Have a Merry oh, Christmas. <laughs> So, you know, how shipping's been, you know, it's been kind of late, so we just wanted to give out some Christmas gifts. Santa left us a letter, and this is really all we have left, but we had to make sure we got you something, so. Wow. We got you some Top Ramen. This is fantastic. for LCTV with me. Uh, what do you 
occasion. Hey, yo, hey, yo, fuck. I think Santa was really low on the budget this year. Yeah, I think they're on Santa's naughty list. Well, that's it for today, LC. I'm Reagan Sedaris. And I'm Olivia Klein. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube at Lake Central Television, which is where you could find the links to our website, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. You could also find them in the description below. Thank you for watching, and be sure to tune in next time. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays! Bye! Bye.